as you can see, I've still got <laughs> the wax. This is how small this little bugger is, huh? All right, uh, if you like my uh, video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if it appeals to you. Um, you know, try to finish this up today uh, so I can start something uh, new either tomorrow or the next day. So I, Thursday I will probably be going into the foundry to color the first copies of Peace Talker, the uh, play that I finished about a month and a half ago. So, we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna get busy here. I wanna apologize for the uh, hands in the way every once in a while, but uh, there's nothing I can do. This is a very small piece, and it only takes a finger to cover the whole thing. Actually, the finished size on this piece is gonna be in the uh, three and a, three quarters inches uh, long by about uh, Oh, I think it was an inch and three quarters tall and about an inch and a half wide. So, like I said, it's a very, very small piece. What I'm doing here is I'm using a alcohol lamp torch to melt the clay to give a kind of a texture uh, 
I think it, it will look good in bronze, uh, this texture, because it'll polish up really nice and uh, have a kind of a reddish brown color down underneath. Okay, here I am adding uh, a f the fourth buffalo. Right now I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put them. It's all composition too. I, I don't want to have another buffalo with his head over the back of the other buffalo because that was basically what was happening uh, with the uh, second buffalo I put on there. Uh, so I'm uh, playing with the neck of it trying to figure out where am I going to put this buffalo head? How am I going to have it looking? So I'm doing other things until I can figure that out. Now I'm just shaping the head and then I've decided to move it out away from the buffalo herd uh, sort of like it's looking behind itself it eventually gets in that position and it makes it look really good from the back uh, looking back at the uh, from the back of the piece to the front it's a nice angle at some point I put uh, magnifying glasses on myself uh, hobbyist type uh, magnifying glasses and uh, because this piece is so small I was about now I'm starting to go cross-eyed just forming the uh, rib cage okay I've got the uh, magnifiers on <laughs> it looks really funny now that I look at it This is normal speed and I'm just showing you how long it takes to do something like put on just a little horn. Now we're back up to fast speed again. Still looks slow. And I constantly use the uh, flame of that candle to heat my tool to sort of make the, the wax melt and uh, seal itself or uh, glue itself to the uh, figure. Now I'm just shaping the form of the head. quite sure how I'm going to have the legs yet. Now, as you can see, I've signed it right there. Um, I'm not going to put a number on it. I think what I'm going to do is make this an open-ended number uh, bronze, and that means that it will be the addition size. What that means is the addition size will be limited to uh, the number we sell over a period of time. I'll see you either tomorrow or the day after. Uh, like I said, Thursday I'm scheduled to go to the foundry, but that may change, so I'll keep you informed.